Hey guys, it's George. Ahead of Jungkook's solo debut this Thursday coming, I thought we should take some time out and go through some of his most iconic fashion moments. In this video, we're gonna go over just a handful. Okay, that looks aggressive. A handful of these iconic moments, you know, over BTS's 10 year career that are gonna be a lot. I did put a post out on the community tab of my channel and asked you guys what your favourite slash most iconic moments were and a lot of them crossed over, a lot of you guys gave me new ones to look at and... iconic. And you know, just to make my life more difficult because I love to do that, I'm going to rank these in order of what I think are the most iconic and then I want you guys to do the same in the comments. Honestly, such a hard task. I've gone back and forth on this, but I just, I need to stop. They're all iconic, so ranking them. Why George? Why? But I want to hear your thoughts. That is the reason. <laughs> If you want to learn any more about my fashion background, all that information is left in the description box, but let's jump into our first iconic fashion moment. Okay, hi, this is Future George. I've just finished ranking my Jungkook most iconic fashion moments, but I was so excited to get into the looks. I started at number one and finished at spot eight when I should have flipped it. So my most iconic look was number one. So number one, is where we're starting, and number eight is the most iconic, in my opinion. Just, just so you know. Our first iconic fashion moment is Jungkook's Timberland boot era, and specifically from the Bape Say Dance Practice video. I wasn't familiar with this. This is one that you guys left in the comments, and that is why I'm ranking it here, because there are other ones that just live rent-free in my head all the time. <laughs> I think this look is iconic, specifically in this dance practice video, because of the hip thrusts. All of those hip thrusts. I was not aware of this choreo. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, he's giving it. And you know what? This outfit is sexy. It's very, very simple, but the oversized white shirt, the sleeves rolled back, the way it's been buttoned slightly open and then styled over the top of the jeans. And these jeans, I would say they're a slim fit looking at how tight they are around his calf, but then around the thigh, you can tell that they've been worn quite low because that crutch is coming down to like almost his mid thigh. And then obviously the Timberland boot. This video was uploaded on the 1st of June, 2016, just over seven years ago. And Timberland boots were such a trend in this era. You would see people wearing them in different colorways with a varying degree of outfits, but prominently with denim and skinny jeans, slim cut jeans. Again, huge in this era, unlike the wide cut, baggy cut jeans that all of us are wearing now. Okay, not all of us, but you know, majority. The Timberland boots didn't just finish at dance practice. There are so many pictures of Jungkook wearing Timberland boots with shorts, with jeans. This was a moment, this was an era, not just the dance practice, this was a Timberland boots era. And I believe the Timberland boots era fits in when their music lent more in a hip hop kind of vibe. So those stylings really do come together. My second iconic fashion moment, I believe this was the first time BTS were papped outside of South Korea. And this is when they were on their Love Yourself World Tour in Berlin. Jungkook got papped and I think this outfit Again, it just has a sexiness to it, a grunginess to it. This is iconic. Like this is a moment, like the first time you're papped outside of your home country, like bitch, you have made it, <laughs> you know? What I really love about this outfit is that it has that low key, like incognito mode vibe about it that you guys know I absolutely love when it comes to airport fashion. I know this isn't an airport look, but you know, just relating it back to that. The bucket hat, worn very low over the eyes, inconspicuous. And then the cut of the outfit, this leather biker jacket, the way it hits him right on the hips, and then the plaid shirt underneath, it comes down to the mid thigh, the sleeves are long, covering the knuckle. It has this oversized grunginess, but that leather jacket being slightly more form-fitted, it gives a great silhouette and cut to the look. 
And then the distressed skinny jeans. We are still in the skinny jean era. Imagine this outfit now. This would be worn of really wide cut distressed jeans. And to be honest, I think either would look good with this fit. And then obviously we've got that black shoe. The black shoe wouldn't really work with the wide cut jeans if we were styling this now, but they do work here. I just love this look. It has this like masculine grungy sexiness to it. And I feel like this is the building blocks to those all black grungy looks that we all really associate with Jungkook, especially what I associate with him. Again, one of those examples I said that live rent free in my head. My third most iconic Jungkook fashion moment has to be the Whoopi Goldberg shirt. Whoopi Goldberg gave you the shirt off of her back. That is an iconic moment in life. In life. So I've done a bit of research and this event actually took place in the United Kingdom, in the UK, my home turf on the Graham Norton show. And Whoopi gave BTS her shirt because she was so impressed with the group. I'm giving them my shirt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm giving you this. To say thank you for thank you. all of the thank you. all of the joy you're bringing, and if you look closely, it's all about movement and people. It's all for, it's for you. Thank yeah. you. And then the fact that Jungkook wore this to the airport, iconic. And I like the fact that the fact <laughs> what. And I like the fact that the styling is very similar to when he was papped in Berlin. The bucket hat worn very low across the eyes, incognito, the face mask. And then I believe it's the same leather jacket from that packed shot. All of the fastenings, the cut, the very clean lines of the jacket look exactly the same. And then the shirt has been worn, done up, just that top button popped open. And then you can see the fit of the shirt must be quite loose because where that jacket is quite a clean silhouette, you can see it gathering and just flaring out slightly from the jacket. The look's then been finished with those ripped skinny black jeans, very, very similar to the distressed skinny jeans that he was wearing papped in Berlin. And then I believe it's the same shoes. I can see that white sole and they look like the same shape. So I like that we're getting the same look. Essentially, the colors are just slightly different, but it's all about whoopee shirt. In my fourth spot, we have the all black, sexy, grungy vibe, specifically these two airport moments. They live rent free in my head. It's what I associate with Jungkook style. And I remember when I first did my Jungkook airport video, I was just so in love with these looks. How sexy is this look? Like, how sexy is this look? I was so obsessed with them. I even recreated the long coat one. It's just the epitome of his style for me. I know his style has evolved over time. Separate note, I am planning on doing a style evolution video for Jungkook, literally from like debut up until now, but obviously there's a lot of research gonna be going into that. So that will be coming. Who knows? Maybe it'll become a series. Keep your eyes out and subscribe if you want to see that. <laughs> Do you really need your reversing bow right now, babes? These two airport looks in particular, I thought are like the evolved version of the two looks that we just spoke about, the papped look, the Whoopi Goldberg look, because they still have those grungy elements and there's still that masculine sexiness to these looks, but the oversized black trench, the combat boots, the baseball cap, the turtleneck. There's a slight evolution in the style there. And then the look with the bucket hat, that beautiful bomber jacket with those slim cut cargo pants, that chunky boot again, the black rucksack. Again, another evolution of this type of look, but uh, it's just so, like honestly, these looks are very special to me because it's just, like the start of my YouTube, like obsessed, like. Mm. <laughs> Coming in fifth for iconic fashion moments, the fake love era. And I'm sure you can all guess why. Play the B-roll, play the B-roll.
I love how this video has been edited as well, how you just hear like the flashes of the audience screaming when Jungkook lifts his shirt. And this is also when RM rips his shirt open on stage by mistake, just adding to this moment for everyone. Like everyone was already thirsting, like come on, the abs, like no, no, no. Ripping the shirt, oof, what a great mistake. It's not really a mistake, is it? It was a moment. These looks as well are just a moment, like the zebra print shirt with that red sequin bomber jacket over the top, like it's bold and it was very 2018. Like this is so true to the times. Another fake love moment of Jungkook's that we need to speak about is when he had that cherry red hair and the harness. This look is just peng and it takes fake love in a slightly different direction from the looks that we've seen in that shirt lift. I'm just so, so obsessed with this. Like the red hair, the leather harness, how it really nips him in at the waist. <sighs> Most iconic Jungkook fashion moment, spot six. Actually, no, before we get into spot six, how do you feel if I made this a series and we do a video like this for every BTS member? Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see that because I think you do. Spot six belongs to the cropped black blazer and body harness at the Permission to Dance concert the version on stage when it was an online concert and then also the version in person in the US. Both fucking sensational. This is one of my favorite Jungkook fashion moments ever. The version on stage where it has the beautiful pleating and it's cropped right above those trousers just by an inch. And this is a very low plunging cut blazer too. And then that body harness, the way it skims and just emphasizes that snatched waist. And then it's been completed with the black skinny trousers tucked into those boots that are coming up just below the knee with the blue hair. I remember I was fucking salivating watching this. Like I was shook by all of the looks during the set where it was like fake love, black swan, but. And then we get to the live shows in the US and the boy literally rips the fucking blazer open. The buttons are popping off. The titties are out and shaking. The crowd is screaming, screaming bitch. So I believe they swap it out for this jacket here. And I think this jacket is so stunning. The corset inspired shape of the hem of the jacket, that beautiful sweep. And then you can see that they've embellished where the boning would sit in a corset in this jacket. And I like the fact that they've made it higher cut with the break, but then you're getting slightly more ab showing. And then they've made the chains lighter this look is so insane. Spot number seven goes to Jungkook, Calvin Klein Global Ambassador. When this campaign come out, we were all obsessed, we were all thirsting, we were all salivating. And the thing is, this man really didn't even show much. We're getting a flash of some abs. We're getting some bicep, we're getting the tattoos. He's looking spicy. spicy. But when we look at his campaign compared to other campaigns, even thinking of like Jenny's campaign of Calvin Klein, they're showing a lot more than what we got to see of Jungkook, but the levels of sexiness were still through the fucking roof. Calvin Klein is just like a household brand and it's so accessible for everyone. So when it was announced, I must admit I was expecting him to become an ambassador for a more like luxury high-end brand, but this really suits him. Like he's getting the vibe, the casual sexiness. When we look back at the looks that we've spoken about, very casual, but there's still that masculine sexiness to it. So this really, really fucking works. Like the double denim, the flash of the underwear, the abs, the mullet, sexy. 
I think my favorite picture has to either actually be this one where he's like in the box, he's got the boots, all black, simple jeans, Calvin Klein t-shirt. It just looks fucking hot. Or, you know, this one. Don't need to explain why. I feel like we're now also in the Calvin Klein era of Jungkook style. I've seen a few of his airport fashion looks recently and it is very Calvin Klein heavy. I am going to do an updated BTS airport fashion video. My last BTS airport fashion video was August 2022 and I've not spoke about any BTS airport fashion since. So I'm going to do a dedicated video on that. And then next Sunday, I'm gonna have my June airport fashion roundup coming. Keep your eyes peeled for that. First time I'm going to be speaking about airport fashion in almost a year. I apologize. <laughs> Spot number eight, my most iconic Jungkook fashion moment. I'm sure you can guess it if you are a regular viewer. That absolutely insane Louis Vuitton co-ord that he wore to the airport. And this was just after BTS were announced as global brand ambassadors for Louis Vuitton. I believe they were announced as global ambassadors in April 2021, and then they featured in the Louis Vuitton show that was around July. But this was the first time BTS flew in two years. So this was a big moment. And this outfit fit the bill. I believe Jungkook sold this outfit out everywhere for Louis Vuitton. And Louis Vuitton is a fucking expensive. This is a luxury brand. And the fact you have that much influence and power to sell out such expensive clothing is unfucking real <clears throat> Excuse me. I remember being so obsessed with this outfit. Even when I look at this outfit now, I'm so obsessed with it. And I think for me, it's because it fits the grungy all black aesthetic of his style, but it's evolved through the use of all of the different colors, the tie-dye effect of those colors with the black stripes, graffiti-esque going across it, and then that Louis Vuitton monogram. It's like they've taken his style and they've mixed it in perfectly with what Louis Vuitton wanted to do with this collection and just oh, even the fit of it, the wide cut of the trousers, the utilitarian style pockets. Then he's got that chunky black shoe tying into all the chunky black boots that he used to wear. And then how it's just been styled with the black crew neck jersey t-shirt worn out. It helps keep it casual. And then he's got that beautiful Louis Vuitton bag with the embossed monogram. I like how the monogram of this bag is embossed because it makes it a lot more subtle. So it makes all of your attention go to the print, the monogram in that print. Imagine if this was like the monogram that's like black with the gray, so it stands out more. It'll be fighting against each other. This look was just styled perfectly. It fits his style so well, like just, this is my most iconic Jungkook fashion moment. This lives rent free in my fucking head. I'm still obsessed with this outfit. Two years on. Two years on. I'm just gonna stare at this and cry because I don't have it. <laughs> right, it's your turn. I'm sharing this difficult task with you. All of these looks are iconic, yes, but I want you to put them in your ranking order. I wanna see how they fall in pecking order for you. I've absolutely loved creating this video. I'm fully aware that there are tons more iconic moments, but these are the ones that I've collated together for this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to make this a series and we'll create a video for each member. Thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You're honestly the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye bye.